Now, to begin with our Blue Jay, we're going to start right here in the middle, but instead of being right in the middle, we're just going to come up a little bit. And you want to begin by making a small circle for the eye. Once you're done with that, I want you to add another smaller circle and then color the rest of this in. Now the beak of the blue jay is going to line up with the eye. So what you want to do is right here, just go ahead and draw a small little line that comes back towards the eye. Don't let it touch though, you want to leave some space. Starting here, you want to make a line that's going to come up and then down. And then one that goes down and then up for the beak. They have a little bit of a pointier beak. Beginning right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curl up. And then I'm going to make some little zigzag lines that come back here. Just to kind of show that the back of their head is very feathery. Then I'll make one more that curves in. Next, you want to bring this line down. And then you want to make the feather, or the wings. I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. It's going to come to a point, and then it's going to curve back up and come right to here. It's going to kind of look like an upside-down teardrop. Next, I'm going to add some long little curved lines in here for some texture to make it look like there are feathers on the wing. Now starting here we want to make the body. I'm going to draw a line that goes down and then the blue jay is very feathery so I'm going to add some of these little zigzag lines that are going to curve all the way down to the wing. Next, starting right here, I'm going to draw a little line that goes down and up for the toe, and I'll put another one right here. Then I'm going to add one right here. It's going to go down and up, and then one more here. Next, starting here, we want to make a branch. To do this, you just want to draw a line, and I'm going to bring it right to the body of our blue jay. Then I'm going to make it pop out over here. I'm going to add another line that goes down and then it's going to come back. And then I'm going to make another one right down here and I want to make sure this line is below the feet. Now starting here I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down and it's going to come up. And then one more that goes down and then up like this for the tail of our blue jay. Now the Blue Jay is going to have some different details on here. One of the details it has is that you're going to draw a line, it's going to go down, it's going to come around the eye and then back here. And then you want to do the same thing up here. Go up by the eye, draw right around it and then come over to here. Kind of like a small mask. Next I'm going to draw a line that's going to come all the way to here. And then I'm going to draw this line over to the side, and then I'm going to bring this line up to here. Now you can always come in here and add some quick little lines or extra details just to make your Blue Jay look a little bit more realistic. But there you go, there is your drawing of a Blue Jay. Now our next step is to begin coloring this. Now, to start coloring your Blue Jay, you can use whatever you want. Crayons, markers, colored pencils. I'm going to be using some colored pencils because that's going to give me the best way to color and to add the different shading in here. Now, when using your colored pencils, I'm going to get a couple different shades of blue. I'm also going to need some browns and some black. Now, if you don't have all these different shades of blue and stuff, you can just choose one and then use some black in here for the shading. Now, I'm going to start off with some light blue, and I'm going to color some different areas of my Blue Jay with this nice light blue. So I'm going to want to come up here, and I want to color the very top of the head. I'm just going to color nice and light. So I'm going to color the top of the head. 
I'm also gonna color most of this area right here. I'm gonna leave this white, but I'm gonna color in this area with my blue as well. I'm also gonna color in most of the wing blue. Now the wing does have some different details, so I'm gonna leave like a little squiggly line here for some white right there, but I'm gonna color in the rest of this blue. Then I'm also going to color the tail blue as well, and I'll leave just a little bit white on one edge of the tail. Now, once you're done with that, I'm gonna come in here with a darker blue, and I just want to add some shading around here. So I'm gonna take this darker blue, and I'm just going to color a little bit darker right around the back edge of my Blue Jay. And then as I get a little bit closer to the middle, I'm gonna slowly pick up and start going a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to do this all the way around here, and I'll also add some of this blue right along here as well. I'm gonna add some of this right along the back of the wing here, and I'll do that same thing. I'll just kind of slowly start to get lighter as I come towards the middle of the wing. I'm also going to do this right along the back here too of the tail. Just add a little bit different color. Then I can always go even go a little bit darker with another shade of blue, but you do not have to do that. I just have some of these darker colored pencils, so I will just kind of come in here and add, make this a little bit dark. Now, once you're done with that, then I want to take my black colored pencil and I'm going to color the feet black. I'm gonna color them a little bit darker on the edge and then I'm gonna slowly just get a little bit lighter as I move farther away. So I'm just gonna start out dark and then slowly get lighter. Then I'm going to get nice and dark underneath the beak and then I'm gonna get slowly lighter under here and then I'm going to get a little bit lighter as I move up here. I'm also gonna color in black this area right around the eye of the Blue Jay. It looks like he's almost wearing like a little mask. So I'm gonna color this area right around here. And I don't wanna get too dark by the eye because I don't wanna lose where my eye is. Luckily I did that in permanent marker, so you should still be able to see it pretty well. So I'm just gonna go a little bit lighter right around the eye area here. Now, our Blue Jay does have a little bit of some like black stripes going along the tail, so I'm just going to kind of color in some little wiggly lines to go right along the edge of the tail. And then there's also a little bit of black right around our little white stripe on the wing too. So I'm gonna add a little bit of black on the top and bottom of that stripe. And then I'm going to just get a little bit lighter as I go up here too. So I'm just gonna get a little bit lighter as I go around. Then I'm gonna come back with my light blue really quickly and just very, very lightly, I'm just going to do a little bit of shading here on the front. I'm just gonna add just a little bit of light blue here and then a little bit under the wing too just to kinda do some shading. Now, once you're done with your Blue Jay, then what you wanna do is you wanna start coloring the background. So you wanna color things like the tree branch using some light browns and some dark browns, and then also the background. You can color the background however you want. I'm actually gonna paint it, and before I paint it, I'm gonna take this white crayon, and I'm going to color in some dark little white circles back here for some snow, because I want this to be a nice winter Blue Jay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of these little white dots all around here for some snow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring and painting my background.
And there you go, there is your Blue Jay, or winter Blue Jay picture. So I went with some dark browns and light browns in here and even add some extra lines to create some tree bark texture. And then I just came in here with a nice light blue to add a nice background. But there you go. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson today.